question. Um, how do I find a roof leak? You know, the best way to find a roof leak is um, really just walk around the inside of your home. Um, you know, most, most ceilings are going to be painted that eggshell white. And um, it might be a different color, but really what you're looking for is a brown stain somewhere on, on the roof. And, and typically where you're going to want to look is, um, you know, if you can imagine what the outside of your home looks like while you're inside. And if you know where the valleys are, uh, where those come together, that's where you're in a lot of cases going to find a leak or a penetration near a wall where the there's an elevated roof uh, above the, the first. And those are the areas that you want to make sure that you do check. So, uh, you know, that's that's something that a lot of people don't actually do walk around the home and, and, you know, inspect your ceilings. But I'd highly encourage it because that's absolutely the first sign of, of a leak in your home. And those are things that... Um, that grow really, really quickly. So you notice the spot, um, and it's the size of a quarter at first, uh, that spot is going to grow. There's no sense in waiting to see, all right, is it going to get any bigger? Is it not? That water spot is going to grow. And then it's just going to be a a bigger repair that needs to be made. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I would also say if you're trying to look at the exact spot, uh, you're trying to figure out where it's coming from instead of just calling a professional, uh, you can get in your attic if you have attic access and typically the wood that's up there, you'll be able to follow the water cause it will stain the wood and you'll yeah. be able to see, Hey, hey, it's coming from this particular vent. And that's where a lot of penetrations, uh, happen is, is where there's a, a pipe jack boot or a wall meeting a roof line. Like if you have the first story roof and then it goes up to the second story of, you know, that second story there, um, you have a penetration there and, and that's where it, is. it doesn't typically just leak in the middle of the shingles much. Right. Um, it's almost always some sort of penetration point, like a, a vent or a pipe jack boot. And if you get in the attic, you can normally see the water standing from those areas. So not, not just the inside, but, um, that as well, that'll help you locate it. Now, if you see a spot, absolutely and you don't want to deal with it call somebody to come out and look i'd recommend that in the in the first place you see a spot call us we'll we'll come out we'll <laughs> yeah for sure for sure okay uh well i think that's a good starting point uh for that and then it always ends with a good quality inspection uh with a full photo report.